Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is uh, from the Sulfuri RL circuit series, and here primarily I'll be discussing example 7.3 solved in the book, and this is on the request of a student who has difficulty in following uh, the book. So let's go to the question directly. Example 7.3. Assuming that I0 is 10 ampere. Calculate IT and IXT in the circuit. So this is the current. Current through the inductor is I and current through this resistor is IX. Now there are two methods of solving this. We'll do both. So first method, we know that for the RL circuit or the source free RL circuit, the current equation is given by this, that IT is equal to, this is not minus, equal sign, I0 e raised to the power minus T over tau, where tau is L over R. So we need to find R in this circuit. L is given, so R from this whole circuit. So we need to find the equivalent resistance, R equivalent or R thevenin from the given circuit to find IT. Okay, now what I have done is, I have just inverted this circuit uh, this way uh, so that our load comes on the right hand side since uh, we are mostly used in this pattern that road, uh, load is uh, on the right hand side uh, therefore I feel more comfortable in uh, reversing this and this look is acceptable and now so <coughs> to find R and what we do we remove the uh, load which is the inductor in this case so we are removing the load and now we need to find R thevenin of the circuit at this point. Now the problem here is that we have a dependent source and I hope you recall that for dependent source we have to use either a test voltage source or a test current source. Uh, so in this case I will be using a test voltage source of 1 volt. So this test voltage source of 1 volt so if we can calculate I0, then our R thevenin will be V0 over I0, uh, and that is what we are going to do. So after, I hope uh, you have now got this concept. So let's get, get back to the original circuit. So we, we reverse this again. So this pattern we will now uh, use to solve the example. Now this is the test current here that we connected here. Okay, and now uh, we have taken these two currents I1 and I2 and based on these two currents I have marked the polarities. You know wherever the current touches first uh, that becomes the positive terminal so this is negative. Similarly this current touching first positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay, and now we will write um, the KVL equation to find actually our aim is to find I not which is I1 reversed. So loop 1, KVL we are going like this, so minus 1 and minus 2 into I1 minus I2. So 2 I1 minus I2 uh, and from here uh, we get this equation I1 minus I2 is equal to uh, minus 1 by 2. So this is one of the equations from loop number 1 and now similarly we write the equation from loop 2 this way. So I hope you will follow, simplify, we get I2 um, as 5 over 6 I1. Now we will replace this I2 with this value so we can calculate I1. Okay, so putting in the value of I2 here, we get this equation solving simplifying i1 is minus 3 ampere so we have found i1 and now you can see that i0 is actually i1 but in the reverse direction so i1 can be written as minus i1 sorry i0 can be written as minus i1 which is equal to 3 ampere so i0 we have found v0 we know so r7 and we can now find so our equivalent or R thevenin is V dot over I dot, which will be 1 over 3 ohms. And now we can 
now find tau tau is l over r equivalent l was 0 0.5 or 1 over 2 r equivalent 1 over 3 so this value of tau is 3 over 2 seconds so our current equation now we are ready to write current equation is i0 e raised to the power minus t over tau i0 was 10 given in the question and tau 3 by 2 putting this is the answer that we get for the inductor current okay so the inductor current i we found this current we have found now we need to find ix so for this if we can find the voltage here then we can use that voltage uh, to find ix and so voltage here is basically the voltage of the inductor so v is equal to ldi dt will use 0 0.5 di i now we'll use this i that we calculated taking differential uh, we get this answer this is now v so v divided by 2 v divided by 2 will give us i x so i x is 1.667 e raised to the power minus 2 over 3 t so this is the answer so this is one of the uh, method and I think this is the easiest method but those of you who are not comfortable with the Thevenin resistance you can solve this directly well so let's see that by the method number two so in method two what we'll do is simply uh, we write the KVL equations for both the loops loop one and loop two so for loop one the KVL equation if you again going from here like this so this is the equation simplify simplify so we get 7.33 equation from loop number one and now uh, we write the equation same way for loop number two and from here we get i2 is equal to 5 by 6 i1 put this value of i2 in this to go further so putting in the value we our equation 7.33 becomes like this further simplification so we were here we can further simplify we can, I hope you can follow these steps we come here moving this on the right hand side transposing we bring I1 here and we take DT on the right hand side and since we are interested to find I so I1 and I are same, we replace I1 by I, so our equation will be D I over I equal to minus 2 over 3 DT. And now we are ready to take integral of, on the both sides, so we integrate. And by integrating, the left hand side will become log of I with these two limits and similarly the right hand side will be 2 over 3 and integral of dt will give t so this is the limit putting the limits on the left hand side we get log i t minus log i 0 and this one 2 over 3 t minus 0 now this we can write it as uh, just like log a minus log b can be written as log a over b similarly we can write it log natural i t over i 0 is equal to minus 2 over 3 t and taking the inverse of the log we get i t is equal to i 0 e raised to the power minus 2 t 2 by 3 t ok so we were here now we take this on the right hand side to get i t so this is i t putting the value of i 0 so this is the current equation uh, and now same technique to find the other current ix we need to find the voltage here so the voltage of vl just like we uh, did in the previous uh, or um, mode one so ix exactly same technique same thing so i hope this gives you an understanding as to how this question was solved in the book and how we can follow the same procedure in solving this type of a question. 
So if you like it, please share with your friends, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.